With the possible exception of golf course operators and online merchants, the COVID-19 pandemic has been bad for business across the board. That goes double for the sports industry, with rampant canceled and postponed games and empty seats aplenty when athletes actually do step onto the playing surface. But it's possible the NHL has gotten the absolute worst of it. I'm Matt Geica, and this is the Netfront Presence on Pittsburgh Sports Live. While the NHL's summertime playoff bubble was an unmitigated success, here we sit in December with the upcoming regular season still very much a mystery. As reported on Pittsburgh Hockey Now and other national outlets, negotiations between the owners and the players on Return to Play Part 2 are very much frozen in place. And as agent provocateur Alan Walsh recently tweeted, the NHL has threatened the cancellation of the entire season if the players don't agree to front them another $300 million on top of the hundreds of millions of dollars in salary they already deferred in the summertime. Whether the owners actually need additional concessions to make the upcoming season financially viable is up to debate. But I can only help but lament that hockey fans have to go through this brinksmanship ringer once again. Meanwhile, the NBA is set to take the court in a couple of weeks, and the NFL continues churning, with some glitches of course, through its 16-game regular season. The latest hockey labor fight simply illustrates the awkward middle ground in which the NHL continues to operate. They're big league enough to have billions of dollars at stake every season, but not lucrative enough to afford to play in front of empty seats for months on end. If local coronavirus restrictions continue or get even more stringent in 2021, the NBA will be able to subsist off of its media rights money, as the NFL has this fall. But the NHL, and in particular the teams that struggle to break even year after year, isn't in that position. Even the Tampa Bay Lightning, who won the Stanley Cup of course and are becoming one of the more popular teams in the league, had to lay off dozens of employees just last month. And so the fight, or should I say the negotiation, is on. Sadly, this is the kind of desperate atmosphere the players face as they try to hang on to their already reduced salaries, ones they agreed to cut just a few months ago when they negotiated a new CBA as well. And sadly, hockey fans are once again left pressing their faces against the glass, wondering when we might see the NHL take the ice again. For Pittsburgh Sports Live, I'm Matt Geica.